going to demonstrate now, or Alan is anyway, going yeah. to demonstrate how he keeps these uh, knives of his razor sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly every question last year was how do you sharpen your knives? Nothing to do with you know, what you're doing that to the foot for, but it was just how do we get my knives sharp? So I thought this year every farmer can justify having one of these machines for sharpening a few knives every now and again. But uh, I will just show, I'll show you how it's done. And then I just polish it up. on this cloth. The secret is not to let your knives go too sh blunt and then you're not having to hold them on it too long and you're not burning away the metal. I normally take them four or five sets of knives with me a day and I'll just do, depending on the cow's feet, if there's many stones in them. Well, I don't know about you ladies and gentlemen, but this is the first time I've ever seen this fella sharpen these knives. And I've never seen anything so simple in all my life. And that's it. Simples. Absolutely yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. The secret is not to hold it on there too long. Just take the burrs off it or you'll just burn away your knife. That knife is possibly two, two years old, being sharpened every night. Any but questions? It also, the secret is buy a good knife to start off with. No good going to the local you know, dairy supplier and buy something for £2.50. The steel will be so soft and you, you know, whichever way you sharpen it, it, you'll never get an edge on it. Because some farmers give me knives and I just touch them on there and they just, the sparks fly everywhere. <sighs> These knives are made for us, just professional foot trimmers, by a guy down in England, his, his son was a professional foot trimmer and he was a tool maker at Rolls Royce and when he retired he wanted something to do so his son said oh you can make me some hoof knives dad so he made them and then he got you know, so successful at it so he makes them uh, but he just sells them to professional hoof trimmers and the steel, I don't know where he gets the steel from but it, 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 it never bends, that, that knife's as straight as, yeah. And also try and get a knife as straight as possible some knives have quite a, a bow in them, so you've only got a very thin piece on, on the hoof, whereas this is nice and straight and you can get a nice fine flat cut. The other secret is, is just sharpen the one side, never sharpen the back. You want to keep the back absolutely flat, because it, and it acts then like a mould board on a plough, that the hoof will run up. If you've sharpened both sides, you're just pushing into a V and yeah it wouldn't even cut that string but but by just doing the one side it keeps a nice level edge to come up and the hoof will slide off it the question being asked is where do you get a good hoof knife uh, the, the suppliers do sell good ones the one of the best ones is a dutch one called Escalap, and it comes with a black handle <laughs> like that but for some reason they have started putting a bow in it so I don't you know at one time they were the best knives but for farmers they are about the best knives you can get and certainly just a single-edged knife these double-sided knives I found a, a no good and also you know you hold the knife like that and you've got a blade at the back if you slips you know you've got a, a blade going into the back of your hand whereas this it's you know, quite blunt I, I just use it yeah you know, that's a left and use a right on the other hand just two sets of knives Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings to an end this particular demonstration. Uh, I hope you go home and having learned how to go about repairing your own cow's feet. Thank you very much. We'll be back on again at uh, 1.30.